Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, short hair Tasha has entered the chat, okay? And I did not cut my hair yet, okay? But before I do, I want to show you guys this pixie cut, which I've actually had since about February. Shame on me. I never stretch out wigs like this, but I just had to be in the mood for this and I just kept like pushing to the side, pushing to the side. So I finally grabbed the box. This wig is from OMG Her Hair. You guys know I've worked with them before. They have amazing, amazing units, but it wasn't the wig that I was scared of. It was the, it was an install because I've done a short pixie cut before, but I'm so picky about my short hair because my hair naturally is typically short. Um, if you guys have watched my videos recently, the length of my hair now is the longest my hair has probably been in the last six years. I always cut my hair. It's a ritual for me. I just like my hair to be short. It's just a lot more manageable for me. I wear wigs half the time. There's no point in doing braid dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, okay, okay, Tasha, you about to cut your hair. So let's just see if this is what you really want to do, how you want to go about this, which I'm probably going to go, not probably, I'm definitely going to go way shorter than this. But um, this is pretty much, I feel like, the shortest you can go with the wig because it is still a wig. But it's a very, like, modest, fun little, you know, situation. And this wig was definitely stressing me out. But I came through. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, hear my thoughts on this wig, see the struggles, the trials, and tribulations, Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channels. Yes, of both of them. I have two. If you don't know now, you know. Check the description box. Like this video and keep watching. All right, let's get started. So I have this wig from OMG Her Hair. Like I said, it's a pixie cut. And you know, I asked for this because I was like, well, I want to do a cute 90s bowl cut. A girl, bad. you are not on that level you don't have the range however we did come through with the look and we gotta trust the process so I'm showing you guys the inside of the wig it does have a big comb in the back so that the back ain't flipping up it's gonna stay nice and flat and it has enough parting space in the front so that you can part it any way you want all that because we want it to look as natural as possible and honey at this moment I was like girl <laughs> What have you done? So I'm just installing my wig like I normally do. If you guys want more detail on that, check out my channel. I do have other detailed wig installs. I literally did the same thing. The focus today was the styling. So um, as you can see, the wig is just not giving what it's supposed to give. Like I was like, baby, it's giving Mikael my ears. You want to wear the wig? You like a Mikael? Myers. Mikael. Yes, that's not that's not Michael. That's Mi That's Mikael Myers. But <laughs> I do love a challenge, and I feel like my installs get pretty repetitive because I am kind of a creature of habit. I do, you know, switch my hair up very often, but it'd be like the middle part with the curls, middle part with the curls, side part with the curls. You know what I'm saying? So it's time to switch it up and come out my comfort zone out of my box and show that I can do a little something something so I'm basically just cutting the lace you know what I'm saying cutting the lace and OMG her hair has very very great great ooh, great not great <laughs> great quality wigs um so that wasn't the issue I didn't think that the, the wig was in good quality it was just me and my styling abilities because I'm not a stylist so because I am accustomed to short hair myself my natural hair is typically short i know how to do something okay so i was like let me just take some nairobi and just slick it down let's start with that let's slick the sides down because the sides need to be down so um i did that and then i believe i wrapped it um don't let me lie to you yet because i'm going ahead of myself but basically i um put the nairobi foam on there i personally like nairobi out of all the foams for you know like it's the best it's top tier it mold your hair without making it crunchy hard sticky and then when you brush it out it's like shiny and fluffy and still straight like it's amazing so even for your natural hair if you use nairobi use it i've been using it on my baby hairs again and i might be back for good because it's that girl so um i did that and i just focused on styling the top of my hair so let me tell you what you guys are gonna see in a minute so i used to get my hair done like every week or every other week because my when I wear my short hair my hair grows out super fast so I'm back at the salon 
all the time, whatever. So my hairstylist would do this thing where she would cut my hair. I mean, she would curl my hair the opposite way and then comb it over and my bang would be voluminous, bouncy, blah, 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 blah. Child, I tried to do that and it was giving Johnny Bravo, okay? I was like, girl, stick to what you know. So um, after, you know, this part, you guys, y'all seen this before, but I just thought I would leave it in. Um, I started curling my bang, but I ended up just curling it the right way instead of the opposite way so i just thought i would leave that in because you know what i'm human things happen we make mistakes and again it's a process that we're trusting right because we've seen my hair at the beginning it was decent it was it was cool so um yeah that's all i did i just styled the bang and that was it why am i rambling girl girl do you see do you see that? And then I wanted to also make note that I loved the texture of this wig. I feel like it wasn't super silky, which I like because, and it wasn't kinky either. Um, because I feel like if it was super silky, it would look super wiggy. It looks like relaxed hair. Like this looks like my hair when it's short and when it's style, child, and when I put heat to it. So I was, um, I was really happy about that because it just didn't look unrealistic. So. A plus for that, okay, and gave us a little texture. You see that, like it literally looks like relaxed hair. after minutes of playing with my hair I was like what do I want to go for like what kind of look am I going for so I decided I really wanted to thin the hair out and make it look as natural as possible so I got my razor comb a razor comb typically has two sides one side to like thin out the hair if you feel like the hair is too bulky and another side to take off length and I'm using the thinning side because I felt like this style was a little too bulky for me and I like my shorter hairstyles to be very like sleek and like not bulky <laughs> so I just did that and it made the world of different world of a difference and I absolutely loved it so after that I did put a little bit of serum on my hair wrapped my hair down with a scarf did my makeup and the wig came out bomb okay so we did it we finished it trust the process trust yourself and you can lay and slay your hair like this okay and also if you've been thinking about cutting your hair but you're like too scary try out the wig or give it a little test test drive before you actually cut your hair and see how you're feeling with it you know so once again make sure you guys check out omg her hair i will leave all the information down in the description box and let me know what you guys think of this wig are you gonna try it out do you like it on me um let me know let's talk in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye